Welcome back to Factorio building the hyperbase. Um, why am I sitting over by science? Well, it's a bit of a story. Uh, basically, what I've found is happening at this point is that the, um, the science that we're building here is overweighing the rate at which we are launching. Um, so that means that there's a build up in these um, in these areas of the um, non space science all the all the sciences that are not space science until eventually they're actually clogging and I'm having to uh, pick up the extras so that they can carry on and get the space science so that they can drain down again so um, what I do when I have the extras is I place them in these boxes here and this area here kicks off um, a little bit to drain that out but uh, it looks like in fact we have run out well the space science is up here now so um, if I'm to do that anymore I'm going to need more space science but I need more space science for the other area so the next bit of analysis is what was causing space science to be uh, to be less than full and the answer to that one just give me a moment while I get something to tell me the time so I don't run excessively long um, that's the one I want okay um, the, the next part of the equation is what is causing um, the launches to not run constantly and you can see it there it's fuel um, so the reason why I mean you can see there's backed up uh, resource to the other areas but fuel is not there um, the reason is this one is probably close to okay but this one is subpar due to the flow of oil not um, being sufficient to get all the way along um, down here it's pretty light let's keep those going um, and so it's a bit intermittent and we're not getting the full throughput that we should be from this area 85,000 that's actually dropped slightly from the beginning of the game so we have actually dented it in spite of all of this uh, this one up here is barely moved this one is actually dropped slightly as well believe it or not um, but you can see that uh, there's room for this to take another train so rather than create another facility way up here just yet which is certainly the long-term um, plan what I'm going to do is duplicate this facility and run another oil train um, just to here um, that will I mean this needs revision but it can wait it's easier probably to build another one um, and then we'll see once we have two more fuel trains running down here whether there's any further issue or not hopefully more the or not um, and of course there could be out of fuel situations but with what we've set up it should be a lot less than it had been um, not so much there I just wonder if our fuel it's hard to actually catch the fuel train out because it doesn't need to run all the time you see it's just constantly going do I need to go anywhere do I need to go anywhere no 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 um, and it's the same story with the other one um, there is something in here that oh, it's that stuff uh, and it seemed like there was another one there we go got rid of that that's good flashing lights never good how are we doing on science at the moment we are running fairly maxed that's good for the moment it's not gonna last uh, so what do we need to um, lay down one of these I think one thing that we need is to be aware that um, trains that are returning um, come up here and they, they tend to just block down here which is a problem 
we might actually need to open this up and try and create some sort of stacker uh, for the returning trains. I haven't left any room for that of course. Hmm. be its own cause of congestion. Well, I kind of feel that I want this sort of, I mean I could leave a, an 820 space so that there's room for a stacker. Maybe that makes sense and then another 820 space. It's not like, I mean that just protracts these a little bit. It's not that far an 820. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and then The other thing is we probably need a bit of a reading on just how large this whole thing is. Something like that. We've lost this bit at the bottom, but I guess we expected that. Um, yeah. You are oil. Um, so, um, tons of beacons, of course. It's more the number of refineries and the number of chem plants that I guess I'm interested in. Since I'm in this facility, uh, vicinity, we may as well grab those. Um, oh, you do not have. There we do. Uh, come on, auto save. <laughs> Always choosing the worst moments. Uh, let's just get rid of all of those. We're going to need. Um, uh, not so much of these actually. Um, I don't need you. Uh, what else? Oh, I flipped this around. That was a bit silly. Um, so we want. Um, oh, that's a lot of pipes. Um, let's start off with our. We need 82, so we might as well get 100 of those. And 120 chem plants. Um, and 24. Uh, refineries and then 952. Well, I don't think we will fit 952. Um, and 500, I guess, of oops, not those. 500 of those. Um, ah, yes, we need a ton of inserters. We need uh, 200 odd of those. Um, stack inserters, 500. Oops. 508, in fact. Oh, we've ordered 600, so that should cover that. Um, let's get 40 of those. Not sure how many 
stations we have, but that should sort that out. Um, Get some power. Uh, maybe just get some beacons after that. And out we go. Um, that one is the initial oil. This one is our revision. So I don't have the blueprint that I need. But what we can do is create our own new um, how long do we need for a 820 train the answer there so let's come over here provide a gap of at least one of these uh, and we probably want to do a little bit of invini zoom just to make this a lot easier to see Okay, so if I come down to about here, that should be fine for implementing this one. How does that look on the bigger Invini Zoom picture? Uh, That looks fine. Okay. Let's de invini zoom. Get our bots on. And, uh, yeah, come over here. So we don't pick up the trees first up, have a drink of coffee. more tech happening. This is probably going to upset UPS a little bit, but you do what you have to do. Because we're specifically doing it for the fuel. Um, we may as well get the fuel part done and we now have room because we've deployed quite a lot of this stuff so we may as well let um, our bots pick up some of the trees. You can see our batteries are dying fast. Maybe I should try and find room for more batteries. Uh, the other thing here is that we need um, trees only. Get rid of all of that. Um, yeah, the, <laughs> the poor bots have killed everything. Three fusion reactors plus batteries and yeah, they now need the sort of manual interference to try and recharge them a little bit faster.
hopeless task really we're going to be out of material soon in fact most of what we're doing is just picking up trees so we're gonna to have to go back for more very soon let's move away whoops no uh, keys get sticky it's a new keyboard it shouldn't be getting sticky keys um, just yet and However many of these I used, I've completely exhausted them all. So there you go. I'm going to move over here. Uh, maybe that's the easiest to get to. Um, so hopefully we've actually got room to fit all of our bots. Uh, you don't need to be there. Okay, we may need to do the old wood trick. Right, we have some boxes. a lot of things that we still haven't um, dealt with it certainly helps to clear out all the trees extend the tree clearance request a little bit further need to see what we're doing So, what are we mi mainly missing? We are probably not missing all that many of those, or those, or those. Um, I will reduce that down to 10, because I'm not sure. These things we can probably reduce to a couple of hundred, maybe just 100, just in case. Um, I don't think those have placed at all. No, they probably haven't. Tanks. Um, I'm not sure how many we need. Let's just get a stack. Uh, we need a bunch of rail. We need these guys to get back from their excursions. If we can fit them all in right now, that will be good. But um, all right, I'm going to guess that's it. Let's um, head back to our starter base again. Deposit all of this and uh, come back with some more material. Just 
Start out, slow down. There we go. All that wood will be processed through our we still have these things, the wood comes up here and it just gets burnt through here. Uh, it doesn't really matter how much we seem to collect, we always seem to have the ability to burn through it. Um, okay, so we've picked up all of that. Let's get, say, 2,000 rail. Um, and... Maybe we can also get some water. Let's see how the 46,000, so we've kind of reached a, an impasse there. Uh, we get ever closer to completely filling the solar, which is good. Um, what else are we after? Some blue inserters, okay. Um, Ah uh, yes, pumps. We don't actually build these, we probably should. New, okay, so what do we need? We need engines. Engines and steel. I think I um, located engines somewhere where we had a supply of it. Possibly steel as well. Uh, pumps. I need that one piece of pipe. Doesn't seem like enough for a pump really, but it's all it's calling for. We're not auto trashing any of that, no. Well, come on, guys. I need um, I need some pipes. <sighs> there we go. I might just grab that water fill as well while we're there. How many? Um, pumps did we actually need? Okay, I think I've done enough. Um, in that case, what we will do is pop over here and fill up on beacons. As we always need the beacons and let's go! built area. Throw those bots back on. <laughs> and what do you know, they're all exhausted again. One other thing I actually did, which I'll show you quickly up here, was I've actually turned off these N3 conversions of light to uh, petroleum because we weren't getting enough uh, building of the uh, fuel because of the rate at which the plastic was turning over. So um, that's a bit of a thing as well. like we we're way short on the pipe. At least the first time through we were.
The rail's holding out quite well. Alright, we're just creeping through this at the moment. So let's come back here and start the whole charging thing happening. So, spend most of the episode doing this, I kind of think. Right, we can come over here, I just have to be a little bit careful. Because there's build over here that I don't actually want to uh, build out. I'm not 100% sure if I still need it or not, and um, it's kind of a waste of the resources that I've brought over here for this job. Okay, so we've done most of the rail from the looks of things, which is good. Um, we're missing pipes. It also might be worthwhile. Uh, oh no, that's fine. Don't mind it doing that. What I might do is leap out. Now, I know we've got the slow legs in, but that will give this some opportunity to um, refresh. And meanwhile, we can start placing the um, oops, the water. even had time for this to charge at all yet. <laughs> so yes, very um, exhausted. But it will be charging um, the personal robo ports. They have their own sort of internal battery. So they get charged first and then the batteries themselves. doing? 
I might go and check on the flow of the tech shortly just to make sure that we are not um, blocked by trying to put too many of the normal science into into the cars that they can't actually take it so we lack the ability to put wires on those cars makes it slightly awkward right ah there you go a tiny slither um, okay, so um, science. Um, this may well be a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Uh, yes, right here. Um, these are not going to take any more, and this one. We're actually, it doesn't look like there's actually any in those inserters, so we're actually okay. Um, are there any others? No, so it's only the 40. It looks like we're actually going to get away with it, but you can see we've run out of space, in fact, we've run out of space science all the way through. Uh, yeah, uh, there's a tiny bit of space science there. Um, what's this one? <laughs> yeah, another one lined up. Okay, we really need the space science to be lined up. Let's just send it on its way. How far away is space science from coming back down? 119. It's not that far, but as you can see, it's waiting on fuel. So we're definitely addressing the correct thing. Um, you are 6.3, you are 7.4, and you can see it's come to a complete halt because there's no plastic that is sitting in here. We might want to just kick the plastic along to, um, you know, speed up the process a bit. If we can find one that actually has plastic in it. There you go, that's got plastic. 1.7K, because it doesn't like unloading evenly and it's all sitting there. I'm just gonna tell it to go. In fact, it's, is it going to help me much? Well, it will help in that it will refuel. Uh, well, the refill, rather. Rather than refuel, it will refill. And look, there's a plastic train here as well. Um, this isn't great. So that's a plastic train as well. That shouldn't stop there. Yeah, we need to change that to a chain. Um, you... Oh, you've got a copper and an iron, so that's fine. You are short iron, but you have an iron. You are short plastic, but you have a plastic. So that's fine. And we have that plastic there now, which has kicked this off, so it's starting to resume um, building. Building the fuel. So that's the issue that we have. It's kind of reliant on the plastic coming through. Um, how am I doing here now? Not too bad. I think we'll swap these armors over. Uh, we have a little bit of rail, we have probably too many of those. They're not getting used. Um, do we have anything else? New. Okay, so. I basically want um, this bit. 
we should be safe to fly up here. There's nothing that's unbuilt. And actually I don't need that anymore, so... Let's grab that. Uh, my one problem with that is I don't actually have it lined up to know where I want it to uh, come up. Uh, Let's do some Infinity Zoom magic so that I can see. Um, okay, that makes sense to me now. Uh, although, it doesn't make as much sense as I need it to. I think it was about that. Let's run with that for the moment. We're off, I guess we can always redo this. Um, I don't think I'm going to need this power coming down here unless I want to put a radar here, which is probably not a bad idea. Oh, there's no power on it anyway, but there will be eventually. Now, from up here, I guess I want to extend these two down. Hopefully I can um, signal that adequately. side all right that should do for signals I think um, so just more rail and we're actually just about out of the rail too matters if I don't do these together but I guess it's nice to very soon we'll see if yeah we are one one tile off okay It's mainly rail that we need at this point, uh, as well as what else are we missing over here? Beacons, of course, and pipes. Uh, we don't need those. We definitely don't need 40 of those. 
I think we're okay on those. Not sure how many pipes we are missing, but I'm going to boost that to 200, maybe that to 300. Um, so rail, let's yeah, let's get another 2k and fill out the rest with beacons. Swap these guys over. Will you actually get to see the rail? Um, <laughs> but probably not. We probably won't have actually finished this because, you know, gigabase and all. It takes quite a while when you build one of these things. Whoops, it's over here, isn't it? See what that does for us. Stone still forty six thousand. Guess it hasn't really been impacted yet. Looks like this is struggling. What else is there? And there are obviously modules. Um, requester boxes we possibly need to make sure we have a supply of. Hmm. Just make sure that we are set with those guys. Um. Is that it? Yes. Okay. So let's grab some beacons, and back we go once again. down here a bit. There's the one that's live and here's the one that we're slowly making live. Oops. Bots. Those beacons definitely don't last particularly long. Uh, okay. Let us grab uh, that, will do. Take out that. Place that in. And then we can connect the dots. to work that looks fine okay so um, we need to get these guys to come up to here 
Uh, this is now connected and shouldn't be stopping anything. How are you? 7.9, 7.4 and what you've gone to a pause again have you? That's a little frustrating guys. Why don't you just go? 7.9 is close enough. What are you? 7.4. Hmm. You could just go as well, you know. 7.4 is close enough. Uh, okay, so um, let's kind of pretend that we think we are worried about these for some future use that we'll, not, we'll never actually have. Uh, and take it through there. Okay. up and along here um, a little bit further and then ideally straight up and along So yeah, from about here we can go like that. Like that. I might uh, start at the other end now to make it a little bit easier to work out where we want to try and connect these guys up. just need to check one thing, one little detail. Um, so these don't ever cross over that one wrap. Okay, that's good. So it's the bottom one that goes in. That's fine. That's what we want. All right. Uh, we might as well just come straight across. section. Thank you very much. Uh, um, guys, judging by how we're going, I think we're not quite going to finish this inside an episode, especially needing to get all of the beacons for this area, plus all of the modules, plus um, uh, wiring this up so that it comes up to there, and blah de blah de blah there's a few things to do so um, uh, and connecting that up so on the basis of that I think what we'll do is we'll call the episode and we'll see I might well get it going between times the rest of it um, so that we can get on something new in the next episode but um, we'll just have to wait and see anyway thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in the next bye bye for now